If you guys want some gamer subs, make sure to use code GM for 10% off. Thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gminers here, and in this video, I'm going to go over how I got into low man raids and how you guys can too. I've been doing a ton of these lately over on my stream. It's a great way to have fun during some of the more boring Destiny seasons, and it's also super fun to complete challenges like these with some friends if you have those. If you've ever wanted to trio or duo a raid, I'm going to go over how I go from knowing absolutely nothing to getting these low mans done flawlessly. As always, if you guys do enjoy the content, don't forget to drop a like and sub down below. Subbing is completely free, it helps me out a ton, and you can always change your mind later. Learning how to low man and get it clear comes down to three pretty important components. First is knowing the base mechanics of the raid that are used when running with six players or normally. And then second is adapting these for three players or two if you're duoing, which seems simple enough, but often requires some pretty wild workarounds for the raid to even be possible. And then lastly is going to be optimizing a loadout to fit these adapted mechanics, and then also optimize your ad clear and damage for boss encounters. Three steps to go from the base raid to the low man raid, essentially. If you guys are starting out, I do highly, highly recommend starting with either Trio Garden of Salvation or Trio Vault of Glass. These are by far the easiest low mans in the game, and they also have very simple base mechanics. So you can honestly go into these and get the low man done without using any guides. With that said, depending on the raid you are running, you're either going to be able to sweat through an encounter or you're going to get stuck because you don't have enough players for the mechanics. Kali for Last Wish is a perfect example of something that can easily be three-manned and just brute forced, but then as soon as you get to Shirochi, which is the next encounter, your team is going to walk into the puzzle room with one less player than you need, and you won't know what to do. Whenever we get to this point in our runs where we're stuck, I tend to look up other players' clears and the ways that they have found workarounds for certain mechanics. Seeing a full run and how it's done is great, but can be somewhat confusing, Guides can also be super helpful, but typically if any guides do exist, they tend to be from a season the raid came out and can quickly become dated when things are patched. For this reason, watching more recent clears of the low man you are doing is much more helpful. And since things aren't explained in these clears typically, this goes back to why knowing the base mechanics are super important. If you don't know how things work normally, you aren't going to pick up on useful information just by watching someone else do a low man clear. If you end up watching somebody's entire clear and then go check out a guide and you still end up being confused about mechanics, there are Discord servers that also focus on low mans and teaching. My server has a channel dedicated for information and updated spreadsheet guides, along with links to other servers that specifically focus on low man raids too. If you're interested in joining that, there is a link in the description below. The last thing that I mentioned that you need to pay attention to is your loadout, and if you're copying someone else's strats, their loadout. In Garden of Salvation, extremely fast ad clear is needed because you are constantly cutting things close on time. We like to run Trinity Ghoul, which ends up taking up our exotic slot, but this lets us get the ad clear we need. I have been running on Hunter, so Stompies are also incredibly useful to move around second encounter very fast, which also means I need to be on stasis with an eager edge sword. The goal with choosing your loadout is to make everything as efficient and consistent as possible. Just as some other off examples, Bastion is needed for the first encounter on Duo DSC, along with Vesper of Radius. A Titan on Stasis is also needed just to block Tanix's movement during final encounter. Warlocks with Heat Rises are used for low manning Atheon, and back in the day, Banner Shield was used first encounter in Garden of Salvation. Tons of movement exotics are also needed to perform specific oobs or reach different places for low mans. What I'm getting at is, even if you think a weapon or armor piece is completely useless in Destiny, chances are it could be exactly what you need to get a low man done. Your main goal when working through just the base low man and getting your first clear is just getting each encounter done once. And if you're only here for the tag on Raid Report, then you can always just load up a boss CP and only do that too. Try the encounter out and look things up when you get stuck. And then after getting the clear, it's time to move on to getting it flawless, if that's something you're interested in. The only major thing you need to change for a flawless run is any strats that required your team to have a death. A lot of players will just die in low mans to bypass mechanics and make the clear easier, so that's the only thing that needs to be adjusted. I will say that if you do struggle on any particular encounter, which is bound to happen because some are just naturally harder than others, then I also like to run that encounter multiple times back to back. 
This way, I get consistent practice on the encounter, so I'm more likely to get it done in a flawless run. A lot of what goes into getting a low man clear is pretty straightforward and isn't very different than learning regular raids, but a lot of you guys were interested in knowing how I learned these and how you can do the same, so hopefully this helps clear some things up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. As always, have a good one. Peace.